cat cart. So here I am again making another top 10 video. Today I'm going to list my top 10 favourite Mario Kart tracks. Wait, my top 10 favourite Mario Kart tracks? But this must be over 100. How am I supposed to list my top 10? I know, why don't I list my top 10 favourite tracks from each game? And what is a better way to start than with the first ever Mario Kart game? Super Mario Kart, but it's not only the first ever Mario Kart, but it's the worst ever Mario Kart. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Let's just get on with the list. And in case you're wondering, I tried unlocking the special cup in Super Mario Kart, but because the controls are so bad, I couldn't, so I went over to Mario Kart Super Circuit and unlocked the special, extra special cup in that, and that's why I'm using Super Mario Kart Super Circuit instead of Super Mario Kart. Yeah, if you didn't know, you can play Super Mario Kart courses on Mario Kart Super Circuit. But anyway, number 10 is Donut Plains 3. To be honest, I don't really know why I put it on this list. It's probably because of its remake Mario Kart 8. But anyway, once the original version isn't that good, let's just talk about the remake of Mario Kart 8. In the remake, they had the, the ability to go on water, and now you can also jump on the passes the moles make. But that's all I've got to say, so let's just move on to number 9. Nine. Now for an underrated track, Vanilla Lake 1. And sadly, just like Donut Plains, it's not actually made up of vanilla, otherwise it would be first. In Vanilla Lake 1, you go around a loop, yes, that's basically it. But what I like about it, there is some obstacles to dodge. Yes, that's the highlight of this track, there's obstacles to dodge. And that, and it's not. Yeah, my list isn't going too well right now, but I promise you there will be some good ones. Eight. I can't believe they haven't remade a Bowser's Castle from Super Mario Kart. So eight is Bowser's Castle one. This is a pretty good track because most of the Bowser's Castle tracks are pretty good in Super Mario Kart. I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me, but I kind of think it's better than the Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart 64. But this is the worst Bowser's Castle in Super Mario Kart because there's not too many obstacles or jumps. But anyway, let's move on to number 7. Seven. Number 7 is Mario Circuit 1. I like this track because it's short and when you're playing Super Mario Kart, don't you just want the Grand Prix to end? Also, I only just realised this now, but the grass in the map looks like a gay and it might be more practical. Anyway, this is the second track on this list to be remade. It was remade in Mario Kart DS in the shell. Nothing really changed, but I suppose the controls are better and everything's 3D now. But that's all I've got to say, so let's move on. Six. Six is Cooper Beat. One. I have lots of memories trying to beat the Star Cup and unlock the Special Cup and after to play through this track. And that was the most easiest track in the Star Cup. In this track you go around a beach, avoiding cheap chips and trying not to drown. And if you drown, you have to wait about a thousand million years for the key to come up and save you and then put you on the track. 
it will take about five hours. But anyway, where is my Cooper Beach one remake, Nintendo? But anyway, let's just move on. Number 5 is Bowser's Castle 2. I would really like this track to be made because there's a little part when you take it, it would immediately make you fall into lava. I accidentally took it two times in this video, so you'll see me do it. Right now, that's a pit that takes you to your doom. But imagine having being able to use a mushroom to cut across half of that track. I put this higher than Bowser's Castle 1 because there's more jumps you can take. But that's all I've got to say about this track. Number 4 is Cooper Beach 2. It's basically Cooper Beach 1, but it has more to it. For a start, it's bigger. There's also a fun part where you have to dodge cheap chips. There's also more off-road. I chose the DS version because the Game Boy Advance version sucks and I haven't unlocked the special game yet. Also, do you like the logo on my car? You can't see it, but it's basically cat cups. Well there it is. If you like it, like this video. And if you don't like it anyway. Three. Next on the list is Bowser's Castle Free. Get it? Bowser's Castle Free is free. Bowser's Castle 1 should become a retro track, and I really like Bowser's Castle 2 to become a retro track, but Bowser's Castle 3 needs to become a retro track in the next Mario Kart. You have to put a Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart 9. And for Mario Kart World Tour, there's basically every retro track, so you need to put a retrack in all of Bowser's Castle. Well, recheck definitely, and yeah, you should put that somewhere. But remember my recheck in Mario Kart World Tour. This is the best Bowser's Castle because of all the jumps. And basically, that's all I've got to say because it's a Super Mario Kart track, and there's nothing to say about them. Super Mario Kart Rainbow Ride. And just like all the other tracks in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit Rapid. But covered in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart 7. How did Mario Kart Super Circuit Rapid? You might be asking. Well, they got rid of the bomb. That wasn't something that 7 added. It was in it. Super Mario Kart, but they got rid of it in Super Circuit. But don't worry, Super Circuit tracks are actually pretty good. It's just the retro track they better would do good on. Just like all the other portable Mario Kart games with retro tracks in it. Which is all of them. R.I.P. good tracks that came, became bad when they came onto portable consoles. And maybe they'll become good again if Nintendo releases DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Normally I tell you the courses that nearly made it in, but the document I wrote it down in got deleted somehow. But that's okay because you'll probably forgot what a good Mario Kart game is, so I took this video.
Now we can get on to number one. Number one is Mario Circuit 2. The thing I like about this track is the jump. I know Mario Kart Super Circuit has a lot of them, but this is in the top 10 Mario Kart Super Circuit list. It's a top 10 Super Mario Kart list. And to make it better, if you're playing in a versus mode or a one b mode, if he or Typo says seek you only special items, which is a poison mushroom, the CPUs will try and dodge it and miss the jump every time. Is that the only thing I like about this course? Well, this often is the mushroom cup, which isn't that doesn't really happen in this game. Theme, which is the pipes, but yeah, that's really the only thing I like about this track of jump. This track wouldn't even get on my top 20 Mario Kart tracks, so it's not that good after all. Well, they tried. Anyway, to finish this video off, I made a tier list of every Super Mario Kart track getting ranked, along with three other tracks. Now I'm done with the video, hopefully I can play good Mario games like Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart Wii. No way! Okay, fine, I'll do it. Okay, well, like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some feedback you want, and I'll see you next time. Bye.